Lady Florence Dixie was a wealthy Scottish woman and author. She had travelled in South America and reported on war in South Africa. She was also very interested in sport. But polite society thought that women shouldn't play sports and should be properly covered. Lady Dixie wanted that to change. Lady Dixie! Lady Dixie! Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Welcome to Crouch End, to the first ever match of the British Ladies Football Club. We are slightly surprised that so many of you have come to see us. Cow yourselves up! This is scandalous! <clears throat> As president of the British Ladies Football Club, it is wonderful to see such interest in women playing football. I hope you enjoy our match with ladies from the north playing ladies from the south. Any questions? Uh, Lady Dixie, you expect the match to be broken up by protest like the one in Glasgow in 1881? Well, I hope not. Next. Why aren't these women wearing dresses? We don't want to see the sport ridiculed with long skirts and balloon shoulders. Next. Doctors say some women's bodies are too delicate to play sport. Men need women to stay safely at home, raising children. What if they get injured? Do you have any reasonable questions, gentlemen? Uh, how often do the team practice? Thank you. Twice a week, from one o'clock until dusk. Enjoy the match! Scandalous. A most unfeminine affair. Lady Dixie, Emma Clark, miss. From Liverpool, miss. I know who you are, Miss Clark, and I'm sure the North are delighted to have you on their team. Are you excited? Absolutely. Fantastic. OK, then. Ready, ladies? Ready! The British Ladies Football Club played their very first match that day at Crouch End, and the North won 7-1. Thanks to Lady Dixie, women playing sport would become a significant part of the fight for equality.